Hello, everyone, and welcome to a new episode of Insider Financial Talks Penny Stocks. My name is Alex Carlson. I will be your host today. I am the Editor-in-Chief of InsiderFinancial.com, and today we're going to be discussing an exciting new profile on deck for Monday at the opening bell for subscribers only. But before we get into that, we have a few housekeeping issues to go over. Insider Financial and myself are not investment advisors, and this video does not provide investment advice. Always do your own research, make your own investment decisions, or consult with your nearest financial advisor. This video is not a solicitation or recommendation to buy, sell, or hold securities. This video is our opinion and is meant for informational and educational purposes only and does not provide investment advice. For more information, please read our full disclaimer at insiderfinancial.com backslash disclaimer. With that out of the way, remember to smash the thumbs up button if you like this video. Also hit the red subscribe button and little notification bell to be notified when you go live with the new video. Also go over to signup.insiderfinancial.com. This is where subscribers get first look at stocks you're going to be covering. Stocks like ENZC at 0.014, ABML at 7 cents, ALPP at 7.5 cents, and HMBL at 0.027. And if you click on the symbol or the percentage gain, it will take you to our original profile, which is date and time stamped on insiderfinancial.com. After you sign up with your email, you can then sign up with your mobile number. It works for all numbers worldwide. Simply enter your country code first, followed by your number. For U.S. and Canada, be one plus area code and number. Never begin the format with zero zero. It will not work. And text messages are the fastest way to get our alerts. Many times if something hot comes across our desk, we will send a text only alert. And the best part is that both our email and text messaging service are free. We do not run any paid subscription service whatsoever. With that out of the way, let's dive in here, folks. Uh, the other day I did a video, or last week, an uh, important video on how to use sector analysis analysis to find hot penny stocks. Um, and I talked about, you know, blockchain, uh, energy, and, you know, the sector that I love the most right now is the EV sector. Um, Tesla has been the gift that has kept on giving. Uh, if you look at the long-term chart of Tesla, you know, back in 2013, it was under 10 bucks. On Friday, made new highs at 9.10. So it's been an incredible bull run in Tesla, and we see this move continuing. Uh, while Tesla was the first, uh, now 18 of the 20 largest auto manufacturers are focused on electric vehicles. Uh, there's also newcomers like Rivian, Fisker, Lucid, and you have Chinese automakers like NIO. This is the new gold rush. Uh, in the 1800s, it was best to focus on the pick and shovel plays. Uh, now it's best to focus on the companies that will supply the materials for the batteries. Unlike the 1800s, today's geologists know what's in the ground. Uh, copper, nickel, and lithium are cheaper and easier to mine than gold. Uh, better still, Automakers and battery producers are all rushing to sign supply deals with miners to lock in supply. They need that supply and they need to guarantee it. We're seeing with the chip shortages, automakers are in a frenzy to not make the same mistake when it comes to the lithium ion batteries. Um, expectations are for a 15 times surge in copper, nickel, and lithium demand. Uh, this could lead to an EV battery market that is 500 times today's levels, as batteries don't last forever and they will need to be replaced. Matter of fact, companies like NEO, they rely on changing batteries rather than charging like Tesla. Overall, the market is massive and there's pricing power for producers. Uh, prices for copper, nickel, and lithium are only going higher. 
Uh, just look at the charts for copper and nickel. Both are trading near the highs and we expect prices to continue climbing as it's simple supply demand economics. Demand is much stronger than the supply and it takes time to bring new supplies online. Uh, further driving share prices will be ESG. Uh, for those of you that are not familiar, this is environmental, social, and corporate governance practices. Uh, ESG mandated companies like EV stocks are projected to grow three times as fast as non-ESG mandated companies. Government policies are set to continue rewarding ESG mandated companies. When it comes to supply, it's also important to be in politically safe countries without the fear of nationalization. Monday's profile mines for copper and nickel in British Columbia, Canada, and lithium in Nevada. It doesn't get any safer than that for a junior miner. Monday's profile is also well capitalized to fund its 2021 work program and other exploration property commitments in both British Columbia and Nevada. Investors don't have to worry about the company doing an offering or dilution until next year. Best part is that this company has just a $22 million market cap and is trading just below 30 cents a share. It's also an OTCQB, which is the highest tier. Uh, we see this as a compelling opportunity to gain cheap exposure in one of the most critical industries of our generation. The key is being in the right companies in the right sector at the right time. Monday's profile checks all these boxes. To get the ticker, just go to signup.insiderfinancial.com and we will be releasing this ticker at the opening bell on to subscribers via email and SMS only. It will not be on social media. So you need to become a subscriber and go to signup.insiderfinancial.com to get on, on our list and get the ticker symbol. With that out of the way, uh, we're excited for Monday's profile, excited for things that are happening on the OTC and in penny stocks in general. Uh, my weekend video, I talked about DWAC and how I think that's the spark that's going to light up uh, small cap stocks. So it's definitely an exciting time to be trading OTC penny stocks. With that out of the way, I want to wish everyone a wonderful weekend and we'll be coming live Monday at the opening bell with the ticker symbol for all subscribers. Thank you, everyone. Have a great weekend. Bye-bye.